expedition. Uh, today we're looking to target some striped bass or bluefish, depending on what's feeling more frisky to bite. Uh, this past week we've had a pretty good uh, bite on blues, uh, some decent sized ones too. Uh, range, you know, anything ranging from like four to five pounds all the way up. I've seen a couple up to like 12, 13. They've been nice. Uh, so we're going to try to get on them, uh, get a couple on film to make things exciting. Um, also going to, you know, cover off a couple things that uh, I think is key to know uh, depending on the location we're going to be fishing at. Uh, but we'll cover, you know, stay tuned. We'll be back and uh, we'll talk more once we get to our location. All right, so just wanted to take a quick minute here to cover off a couple things here. Uh, if you haven't really picked up on it yet, I'm, I'm going to be fishing on a jetty. Uh, and there's a couple things you want to keep in mind when you're doing something like this. So uh, as you saw there, I'm clipping off my leader. Uh, the reason for that is, uh, you know, a lot of that bottom part of the leader, you're going to be bumping into like rocks and stuff like that, especially if you're trying to land fish. Uh, so one way I like to try to counteract that is uh, I'm going to tie on a like a four, four, five foot leader. Um, because what it allows me to do is, like, if you try to grab braid, uh, which is on my main line, you're going to cut your hand up pretty bad. Uh, so at least having that fluoro or mono leader handy, you can use that to leverage your fish and pull it up. Um, I tie it on here with the double uni knots, or uni to uni, however you want to paraphrase it. Um, and that way, you know, it, it's less hardware you got to worry about and allows you to basically, you know, have a little better leverage getting a fish up there. Uh, so it's always key to have that sort of length available because, uh, you know, you don't want to dip down onto jetty rocks and I'll show you in the next clip here why. Uh, so on that, what I'm pointing at there is, uh, it's your green, green moss, uh, those black silver rocks there, they can get very slippery, especially on a day with a lot of condensation, as you see here. I'm trying to get leverage, trying to get on those tan rocks and, uh, I'm going to bust up my hump there. Uh, so if you don't have proper footwear, you know, something like corkers or anything with sort of like, some sort of grip on the bottom of your shoes, um, it, it could be a very dangerous environment for this. All right, so as far as the tackle we're using here too, um, this is uh, my custom Nexus that I've been working with for the last uh, two weeks. It's really, really nice rod. It's a little lighter than like a standard Nexus. Uh, and as far as the, the reel, I have a Tsunami Evic 4000, uh, it's full with 20 pound braid. Uh, and we're tossing like paddle tail shads, uh, one ounce, one and a half ounce, any, any sort of like color variety. Um, a couple guys here, they're using Tsunami shads, uh, like Andrew, he's hooked up with a Tsunami shed. Uh, I actually am using uh, Fishaholic Finback shads, uh, white, green, bunker color, uh, I don't think it really matters. It, the, anything I had a paddle tail was more working today. Um, but yeah, again, you know, st stay tuned here because um, you're going to see down here too, there's another guy in, on the right there. He uh, He's wearing corkers. He's got pretty much the kind of equipment you want to step down there. It's, again, something you really wouldn't want to do. Um, but in this case, you know, he was there to help us land some fish, which was nice. Uh, but again, this is nothing to take joke of. You, you don't want to be stepping down there unless you have the proper equipment for it. Yeah. Yeah. And then sit down. Man. Here, 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 here. You don't want to your ass. Go no. right on that block there. No, I'd like to live through this. Hello. What's wrong with your boots? Yeah. I hope it's just the hook. No. Don't step on that concrete block. It is? Yeah. Sit your ass down, man. <laughs> <laughs> Old man knows what he's doing, Andrew. He's down there having fun. He's in his hot tub. Yeah, you weren't losing him. 
Really give him a minute. He's got he's got a lot to work with over there right now. All right, we got Big Jim. Got a monster blue on. Yes, sir. That is a thing of beauty right there. And that is what we're after. Jimmy, if you don't mind, I'm gonna. That rock right there, you might be able to get it. That is wet. See that oh, green? You see that green on there? Yeah, hey, Jimmy, I can get him up, actually. There we go. Fucking dropped him again. See, we don't have to change anything we're doing. He's a small guy. He's a There we go, perfect. There we go, Mike. Yeah. These fishaholic shads right now. That's all I'm gonna tell you. You're gonna have to tell them. I will. Fishaholic shed again, baby. Yeah. Oh, ah, it's probably about like what we've been used to at this point. It's nothing crazy, but it's a fish, so I'm cool with it. Come on, spit it, spit it, get it out. So we landed this fish. Uh, one other thing to note out with bluefish, they, they have a vicious bite. They got teeth. You definitely don't want to have your hands too close to their mouth, especially if they're thrashing. Uh, so just have a lip gripper or if you feel like you're safe enough to, you know, just keep your hand away from their mouth. So the conditions got progressively worse today. Uh, so this is going to be the last fish of this day. But, but tomorrow was the new day. Oh. Okay, 
Come on, come on. Show the fuck out. I was uh, fishing and uh, reluctantly I ran into my buddy Andrew again and he wasn't having really much of a good day here uh, so he was bouncing out and uh, yeah you're gonna see how this worked out because uh, let's just say I ended up drawing him back in for a little bit longer and ultimately you'll see how this worked out. Andrew! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, fishing the jetty here is uh, it's right now the tide is outgoing um, but I do have some rocks in front of me with water splashing over it so it's helping to make a good landing point here uh, and you're gonna see that pretty much transition between this fish and the next fish uh, that comes up on this video here so just watch how this plays out So I convinced Andrew to stick around for the shindig and this mofo hooks up then. I got my fish here. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Do I gotta climb down there and get it for you? <laughs> Alright, well bring him bring him down here if you can. Sure? Yeah, sure. Wow, look at that. All right. Bring them right in here. I think you oversold it a little bit on the size, but hey. Just pop and get them right there, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Thanks, man. Just pop and get them swimming. I don't want. Yeah? Yeah. It's than bluefish, right? Yeah. All right. Cool, Thanks man. The caddy, Michael. Yes, sir. It probably would have been. I let him go anyway. Yeah, we don't know. We don't care. <laughs> it's all for shits and giggles. Thank you, sir. Anytime, sir. But I am not giving you up. I'm not. I'm keeping my rock. So. <laughs> yeah, <it's different>. <laughs> <laughs> There you go! 
I just felt them grab it. I know it's on too, so <laughs> it better be on. Well, we've established the shad color doesn't matter. Except, I guess for your case, you got a bass. Oh, it's debatable. I don't know. No, it might be. I know, I know. No, he's a blue. Another blue. Uh. Yeah, another same size. I don't think the shad's gonna survive this one though. I got real lucky. Alrighty, another blue. Another blue for the bucks. Woo! So as I mentioned before, uh, these bluefish, they have some teeth. So, you know, probably, although shads are working really good, they're probably not the ideal choice to use if you care about your lures. Uh, so in this case, I switched it up. This is, a, this is an Al Gag lure. Uh, make some pretty cool colors with these uh, this is a bunker color uh, and uh, yeah you'll see although they work uh, you know you're going your lures are gonna get shredded up if you use them so fair warning Oh, he's a midget. Look at this guy. Downgraded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some say you become a man when you get bit by one. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Oh, jeez. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. I was starting to wonder if they're even here still. They take forever to get a hit. Man. Come on. Oh, he is way out there. It's going to probably take a little bit to get him in, but... Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, I know. Me too. Oh, he's a dink. He's not even that big.
they're getting smaller. That was all Hollywood, that whole fight. <laughs> no, he, he, I mean, the current helped. Yeah, he got in the channel. It felt pretty, I mean, it was a nice fight, but like it. There you go. Yeah, you threw it right out to the right out there, right? And you got whacked. I think they're right in that little. Just had to come here at night. That's all right. This guy's got some head shakes to him, it's just a nice fish. I feel like it's the current though. I don't know. This isn't fighting like a blue, but it might be. Yeah, right. Could be. I don't know, it might be a bass. I know, I'm trying. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely a definitely a nicer one. Yeah. I'll take that any day. I, I got it. you're good, you're good, bro. Yeah, sit right there for me. Sit right there for me. Did you? How do you know, how do you know it was... Oh my God, look at this guy. That's the blue we're talking about right there, right? That's a nice one. Woo! Well, that got crazy, but uh, got on a good bite. That was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, Jenny rocks, you gotta be careful with that stuff. I mean, I, I, you know, I, as you saw, uh, you know, you can slip on rocks real easily, you can get hurt. So, you know, have a buddy system, wear some, wear some corkers or some sort of you know shoe grips that'll make sure that you don't you know bust your hump out there because you know all it takes is one wrong fall to you know make a nice trip turn into a nightmare um, or at any rate you may not even be able to fish again you know god forbid so stay safe make sure take safety precautions and as always tight lines see you on the next one swerp hard